CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. Late dislocation of the bag and eye well complex. Now look at that photo and tell me why this happened. Look carefully. Is it traumatic, but there's something else going on too. Look at the pupil margin. What's all the white stuff? So here we go. What do you think the white stuff? Yeah, it's pseudoxfoliation. So this patient has pseudoxfoliation, had cataracts already done. You can see all those pseudoxfoliated material there. Surgeon's making a couple of side ports here. Now, you're going to try to rescue this exact lens, and that's fine. You can certainly do that. Now, this is an interesting technique here. Two side-by-side paracentesis on either side. And now, going in here, let's not let this lens fall back. Getting the lens up. See if you can bring that one haptic up in the AC. There we go. And once that one haptic is up in the AC, you can do a belt loop type procedure here. And so the belt loop procedure is using a proline. Usually this is 6O polypropylene. And you can see it's being threaded there in that one paracentesis. And now you need to create a belt loop around that haptic. So here's the 26 gauge needle. That's again the 6O polypropylene or proline suture. And that needle's coming through here. And now you can again encase or loop that haptic. It's helpful if the patient has this style IOL where you can see there is an opening in that haptic. It's like a loop. Yeah, it's a standard C-shape, but it's also a loop there. So now feeding through that 6O proline, bringing it outside the eye. And now you can probably guess the other end is going to go with that same paracentesis. Now the other end is going to go just above it. And so now you've created a belt loop around that one haptic. And again, this haptic design is easier to do because it is a closed loop. And so there we go, put that back in. Now this goes above it, and now you've looped that haptic with this belt loop, and it's not going to go anywhere. So here it goes going above it and pass that through. Now you create these flanges here with the polypropylene, with the proline. Make sure you really get the little nubbin of it in the sclera. You don't want a big wad of polypropylene sitting just under the conjunctiva because it will erode through. So there you go, pull the loop through. Get those trimmed up and cauterized and do the other side. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, I want to remind you that cataractcoach.com is our teaching website. and It's a ton more material than just YouTube videos. You need to check it out. Follow me on social media. There's my Insta, LinkedIn, Facebook, you name it. Remember that website, we also have everything organized and categorized. So you can do everything that you like. If you want to do just cataract quizzes, i got hundreds of them. Just go to that website and under the categories, you can see quiz and click on that, and you'll get all the quiz videos. Anyway, I think you'll really enjoy it. Check it out. Now, here's the opposite side. And again, threading through that 6O proline suture. Going to push that right through and extract that. Now, not sure exactly where this is, but you want to be just about maybe 2 to 3 millimeters behind the limits. Don't go too far back. I kind of wonder how far back is that one pass. But maybe it's just under the conjunctiva, and it doesn't enter the sclera until later, but we'll find out. So again, passing this here, and we're going to pass that suture in, and then you'll do some cautery. So get that haptic now behind. And this should be sufficiently um, supported for the entirety of the patient's life here. So now pulling this through here, I still don't quite understand why the double paras were made. Two pairs on the left, two pairs on the right. I don't quite get that concept. I think you could have done okay with just the one. Maybe it's this, oh, to manipulate. Maybe this is the reason why. Okay, okay, I'm getting it. I'm not as smart as you guys. It takes me a second. So there we go, feeding it through. So it's to feed it through. But I would have just had like maybe a, another incision kind of in the middle and use that left and right. But okay, that works for me. I get it now. I get it. Now pulling them up, pull both sides, get that lens centered. Don't pull too tightly because you'll distort the lens, the haptics. And then here we go, a little bit of a flange. That should do it. And pull through that other one. Yep, pull, pull, pull. Tighten that thing down. Get that thing down. Get that nubbin in the sclera. Don't just leave it sitting on top of the sclera and above, you know, the tissue there. Because then it'll erode through the conjunctiva. So here, grabbing that end there. And a little bit of cautery. You got some nubbins. And then push those in. Remember, push them within the sclera. Do the same thing on the other side. And this should probably last the patient's lifetime. This patient's probably not super young. Given that amount of pseudo exfoliation, looking at that iris margin, usually we see this kind of pseudo exfoliation a little bit later in life. So if the patient can, if this can last 10 years, I think that's going to cover it for the patient and the entirety of his or her life. 
So here's the pulling that one flange through and then cutting that. Don't let it fall in. Grab that little nub and grab it. There we go. A little bit of cottery right here. Let's look at the post stop picks too. And again, push those nubbins into the sclera. Don't leave them sitting under the conjunctiva. If it's just under the conjunctiva, they will erode with time. Beautiful centration. Nice result here at the end. And again, even on the post stop picture coming up, you'll see you can tell all that pseudo exfoliated material at the pupil margin. So very common. Here we go. There are the nubbins. Mm, I wish they were in a little bit deeper, but it looks reasonable. And then there you go. Very nicely done. Hey, check out our podcast every week, a brand new podcast. I promise you, I'm teaching you the secrets of ophthalmology. We're learning together. I have incredible guests who tell us all the secrets for success.